Kelsey? Thanks, Lynn. So LSU leads the all-time series 5-2, to two, but South Alabama has been able to take the last two games, including one here in Tiger Park on February 15th. Now we're talking about Stephanie Pilkington, and she helped account for the two runs scored that game with an RBI and a run scored. Now LSU left eight girls on base that game, and they cannot do that tonight against the number one pitching staff in South Alabama. Their TV area is 1.12. Welcome back to Tiger Park, where the Tigers have a 3-1 to one lead over South Alabama. I'm here with Coach Tarina right now, and I have a couple of questions for you today. So what's the biggest part of the performance today from your girls? I think it's important for us to continue scoring. I think this game is far from over. I think South Alabama is a really quality program, and I expect them to, you know, continue fighting. So we got to keep scoring every inning and keep the pressure on. And how important was it to get those runs in the first inning off those four consecutive walks, knowing how talented this South Alabama pitching staff is? Yeah, it's huge. You know, it's good that our kids we're able to be disciplined at the plate and really set the tone for the type of game we wanted to have today. And what about Corbella's outing so far? She's having a great one. Yeah, she's doing a nice job. She's got to keep making them earn everything they get, and she's going to be in good shape. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck. And our Kelsey Wingert has more. Kelsey? is fourth in the NCAA right now and just this past Monday she became the first softball student athlete and the first female in school history that was drafted by a professional team and she just got selected third overall by the Akron Racers. What do you have down there? Yeah so some of you guys might not know this but these girls aren't just softball players they're also undercover cheerleaders and rappers. <laughs> I was talking to them about the game before the game and they take a lot of pride in these cheers. Every single player has their own special cheer when they are at bat and uh, Constant Quinn she makes a different beat for every single cheer so they were just saying that you know they, they all have a part in it and even some of them have alter egos for their their little undercover rap <laughs> career their names are BZ and con artist so Savannah Jake was just got SEC freshman of the week and in these last four games she was hitting 467 with seven hits and in the game two of the South Carolina series she actually became the in LSU history to get five hits in one game. She went five for five that game. So Simone created this support group called You Are Not Alone after she lost her mother to cancer. So this, this support group is a place where LSU student athletes can help middle school and high school students kind of hope with loss of loved ones. 